Hello, and welcome to Cooking Lessons for Dad, where you'll learn to cook healthy, cook easy. My name is Karen Breyer, and today we are making delicious French toast in a toaster oven. This is a really easy method to make French toast. Very delicious. You end up actually with a little crispy edges, which I really like, and just a few ingredients. The ingredients in this recipe are eggs, regular or soy milk, and I have soy milk, honey, vanilla, salt, and whole grain bread, and cooking spray. So the first thing that you're gonna do is spray a pan that fits in your toaster oven with cooking spray. And if you like, you can line it with foil, which I'm gonna do because it makes a much easier cleanup. Set that aside. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and whisk together our ingredients. So I have two eggs. So I have one cup of soy milk. Next, we have one tablespoon of honey. And you can adjust these ingredients to your taste. Just stir that in. Next, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and this is optional. I really like it, but it's good without it also. And an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, or to your taste. So we're gonna whisk these ingredients together. You can use a fork or a whisk. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this into a shallow dish. I'm gonna soak each slice of bread in the egg mixture until it's saturated, starting on one side. And when it's saturated, I'm gonna turn it over to soak the other side. Maybe about 30 seconds each side, maybe up to a minute, depends on how thick or thin your bread is. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it on a pan. and soak my other piece of bread. I'm gonna flip it. If you think it needs more soaking, you could turn it back to the other side again. So this is pretty saturated. I'm gonna put this on the pan, drain off the excess. Be careful that your bread doesn't rip. Next, you wanna make sure your oven rack is on the broil setting and that's the highest rack. Go ahead and put your pan in. Turn it on to broil, and you're gonna cook it five to eight minutes until it starts getting golden brown on the edges and the top. And this is really to your desired doneness. Then we're gonna flip it over and cook it on the other side. So I need to adjust my time. So the timer went off. I'm gonna check our French toast and see if it's brown enough. And it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and Flip it over to the other side. Okay, I'm going to put it back in and cook it about the same amount of time on the other side or until it's as golden and brown as I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and set it for seven minutes. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, the timer went off. I'm gonna go ahead and check my French toast. It looks nice and golden, just how I like it. I'm gonna try it. But you would go ahead and repeat these steps for the rest of your bread. And I think it looks nicer on the first side, so I'm going to flip it over. But you don't have to. You can put whatever toppings that you like. Lots of times I put nut butter, fruit sauce, applesauce, but traditionally butter and maple syrup. So that's what I'm going to put on today. Got some butter. You might want to take a minute for it to melt. Got some maple syrup. Let me know what you like to put on your French toast. It smells really good. I'm gonna go ahead and try a bite. This is a big bite. Mm. 
This is so delicious. I love the crispiness on the edges. Try it. You're going to love it. See you in the next lesson. Mm, this is so good. I'll be making the other two pieces in just a minute.